hello guys welcome back to the third video in our course on introduction to Langchain. okay so in this course in this course we're going to word and cover Langchain from absolute beginner to advanced uh, intermediate level so in this course we're going to be covering how to work with chart models so in the last draw we look at how to build a simple predictive model using, using a long chain and uh, open ai basically chat gpt so in this uh in this case you're going to go ahead and learn how to work with uh chat models and how they work in Langchain. okay so let's get started with this. So I'm just going to go into uh, this Jupyter notebook. So this is where we left off from last time. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new notebook right here. So I'm just going to say new, create a Python 3 IPY kernel. Okay, press that. And that's going to go ahead and create a new notebook. So I'm going to call this one a lesson uh, underscore 02. Okay, and press enter in there. So I need to copy a bunch of things from here just to import uh, our environment variables in here because I don't want you guys to see my uh, API keys and stuff like that. So copy that, uh, go in here run this paste it here run this as well and then go in here copy this as well copy it and go in here and paste as well and then run this as well so once we have all that done i'm going to go ahead and close this right here so just close off this so once this is closed what i'm going to go ahead and do is now we can begin to code right so i need to import a couple of things so i'm just going to go up here let me just make this a markdown so, so just click on the cell or set of the cell and press m on your keyboard to make it a markdown so so i'm going to just call this one imports so we're going to go have a couple of imports. Uh, let me get that spelling right. So imports, uh, imports, just like that, and press enter. So in here I'm going to go ahead and say from uh, Langchain. So from Langchain dot, uh, we're going to say chat, uh, chat underscore models. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go ahead, go ahead and import the phone. We're going to say chat open AI. So basically that's it. So we're going to import the chat uh, model with open AI. So once I have this done, there are basically four chat models that we have. A system basically system messages because you need to work to work, you need to work with chat models we also need to have something called system messages so we basically need to also be able to work with system messages basically be able to pass different system messages and uh, that's that's basically what we're going to be doing okay so uh to work with system messages there are basically four types of system messages messages in chat gpt sorry in long chain right there is a ai message there is a human message there is a system message and then also there is a chat message okay so what's an ai message don't worry about that the most common that you use is going to be the human message and also the system message the system message is what you're basically telling the system to do and basically the human message is what the prompt that the user is passing to the model okay to the basically the chatbot so don't worry about the other two they don't use commonly but they uh, just know that also there if you want to read further you can always check the official documentation of Langchain. but in this case we focus on basically the system messages and also the human uh, messages okay so once we have that done uh uh, basically, I also want to go ahead and import those messages. I'm going to say from uh, Langchain, uh, from Langchain dot uh, schema. So I'm going to say Langchain dot schema. Sorry, schema. I'm going to go ahead and import a couple of things. I'm going to import the following. So I'm going to import the following. The first one is going to be uh, it's going to be called an AI uh, message. Uh, the second one is going to be called a human message. That's a, a human message. That's the ones that I need to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And let me just. Uh, fix the indentation a bit and then press enter so once we have those two imports done what i'm going to go ahead and do i'm going to go ahead and simply create uh basically a chat model so i'm going to say chat underscore model is going to be equals to uh it basically this is going to be of type uh, we can say uh equals we can say chat uh, chat open open ai and then create an object of that class right so we're going to say we're going to pass in our open ai key uh, open API key and just say open API key is going to be open uh, sorry I'm just going to spell right so it's going to be equals to open uh, API key this one right here so press enter right there to load in our API key okay so once we have our API key loaded that's all we need to do so just press enter to run that cell okay so that's basically how we can run that cell okay so I also want to talk about basically how you can also use type hints if you want so if you're not type hints I have type hints or video on type hints on this channel so you can always check out how that works basically type hints are just like basically adding types to python right so i'm going to say this is going to be of type uh, open ai basically so run that okay because uh we are creating an object of this so this object this object is going to be basically of type this right okay so that's basically how type hints. so i'm not going to go into data about type type hints. if you don't want the type hints or they are confusing you feel free to get rid of them okay okay so once we have that now we can go ahead and create a system message and also uh, a human message. So i'm going to say sys underscore uh, a message is going to be equals to system message uh, system uh, system message 
just like that and now we because we have, we have it imported here so okay i actually need to edit i didn't actually import so i want to um, this time i want to change the ai message to be system message so system message so uh run that and then that's what i want to use right here so system message and in here you can go ahead and pass in the system message that you want so you can say content and then equals to and then write in the content that you want okay so basically what this system message is is what you are telling the bot to be or what you're telling the bot to act like so let's say that you're creating uh, a bot that is going to talk like a german basically you can put that instruction right tell tell the bot to talk like a german if you want to create a bot that talks like a three-year-old kid then you pass in the instruction of how the bot uh, needs to behave in here so basically what i'm going to go ahead and do i'm going to create, basically create a historian that's gonna basically a german i'm going to create a german that's going to be talking uh, basically talking about german stuff because i'm going to ask you i'm going to go ahead and ask you something tell me about world war one or world war something so i want to create it like a german and let's see how it's going to behave okay let me say talk uh like you uh a german okay and then uh keep your responses responses below let's say uh, below let's say 100 words Okay, so let's say you keep your response below 100 words, and uh, yeah, that's basically that's the only system message I want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and also add another message. You're gonna be the human message, basically what the human is going to be asking the bot to do. So I'm gonna say human message is going to be equals to the human message right here, and we say content, and the content is going to be equals to the following. So I'm gonna say I'm going to uh, basically this is what the user is gonna be telling asking the bot to do basically this is what the user is going to be telling the bot to do that's basically the front end stuff right so let's say that i'm going to i want to tell i want to ask this bot to tell me about world war one okay so i'm going to say what uh was the end of the first world okay world war okay just like that and then simply press that so i have those two messages the system message and also the human message now i want to create a, a model basically we have the model already so i'm going to call this model and then get a prediction for example say prediction underscore message is going to be called chat dot uh, pre predict uh, predict messages and then finally we pass in the, the stuff that you want to do so the first i'm going to pass in is a human message i'm going to say the human uh, this case is going to be sorry it's going to be a list okay so i need to pass in the human uh the human message so the human message and also the second is going to be the system message so that's i have those two the human message and the system message so the human the system message is going to tell the bot how it should behave the human message is what you are basically asking the bot about okay so it's going to be the answer of this is going to be depending of on the system message basically how we told the bot to behave okay so if i run this and let's see what answer we got and i can go ahead and simply do prediction underscore uh, message and then uh, once we get the response back we simply run this so sometimes it can take a bit of time because uh of the traffic to to or to chat gpt so you can see we have the message right here so now you can also go ahead and say prediction message you can also get the content right so it's dot content and then run that so you can see now have the content right so you can also just print this out so print and then print this out okay if you want to so run that so you can see we have it right here the end of the first this is what the bot responded with the end of the first world war was uh war came with the signing of the amnesty of november i don't know what's this i'm really good at history the definition of german allies the terms of the amnesty required german to withdraw troops and occupy and all that's right so you we, we'll see okay one thing i can pick up from here is this one right versailles treaty right treaty of versailles, versailles i hope it's pronounced like that so that's basically how you can see and we can see this information uh, i don't know about much but i can tell about the versailles treaty it was one of the treaties signed at the end of the first world war in 1990 right so yeah, that's uh, it looks like you're getting a bit of uh, accurate answer. I'm not the best at history, but uh, this sounds a bit right to me, okay? Yeah, so that's basically how you can work with the different messages we have. Basically, build a, sim a simple chatbot. And this chatbot, basically, you see the response are quite good. You can basically even change the system requirement if you want. Just say, uh, talk like, let's say, talk like, uh, let's say, Biden, right? I don't know. Let's say, talk like Biden and then run everything again it's gonna also the response are gonna come in form of like biden is speaking or something yeah so that's basically it. it's not really uh the, you can do basically anything you want so let's say let's say you are uh, let's give and give it another system information let's tell the board that it's a it's a history teacher so that you can explain things to uh, little kids so you are a history teacher explain uh explain content to your student 
in and easy to grasp uh, easy to understand easy to understand way so that's basically it and then we can run a code and let's see what we get so it's going to explain things to the student uh in an easy to understand way so you can even tell it to explain to a three-year-old kid so that the explanations are much much easier uh, okay so that you don't get any complicated stuff so you can even if you're having issues you can build a bot that explains things to you in a much much easier way so you can see the responses right here so you can say response is b because we didn't tell it how many characters we want so this can be a bit expensive because uh right now i'm using an open i'm using a free account uh actually i'm using a paid account so uh this if you are paying an account this more characters the more you pay right so uh right class right let's talk about so you can see it's right class so it's like a teacher talking let's talk about the first world war and then you can see all the explanations right here and all of that right so you can see it's really really cool and you're getting all the results that you get back from this uh, from chat gpt so this, this is basically how you can build a simple chat uh chat uh, bot in uh, using long chain and uh, open ai basically with chat gpt so guys that's all i wanted us to cover in this video if you guys have enjoyed this video so far make sure you give the video a thumbs up you'll subscribe to the youtube channel and also you share this content with anyone who you think might find it helpful so in the next tutorial we're going to go ahead and look at something uh, much more interesting so in the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at prompts and prompts templates okay so the uh, let me just show you right here uh here so what your whatever instruction you're passing in here are called prompts right so we're going to see how we can work with this and there's a whole field for prompt is called prompt engineering basically writing the right instructions to ai models because for an ai model to do something correctly you need to be able to tell it exactly what to do so in this case you can see it behaved like a teacher because we told it to behave like a teacher right so that's basically it uh, how it works right so uh that's see you in the next video and that's what we'll be covering in the next video we'll talk about prompt templates and prompts in uh, long chain with with open ai